coming up on Go TV. Players play on. Some super solid golf on display today. Sweet swings. But hey, what's this? Who let Bucky Badger run rampant on the golf course? Call security. Because while some people like it and aren't distracted by the shenanigans, others completely fall apart. Top athletes assessing their skills. I'm better at golf than I am at basketball. And then demonstrating them. And the marshmallow challenge. You needed to get down on it. Ha, ha, ha. Ladies gotta have a secret. Just keep drinking. Okay. <laughs> Good idea, because it can help, yes, if you can do it without falling flat on your face. All that and more coming up right now on Go TV. Welcome to the Clum Family Foundation Charity Golf Outing, presented by Brooks Tractor and Northland Equipment. It's September, we're in Wisconsin, the weather seems to be holding off and almost perfect, and that means one thing, it is the Clum Family Foundation Celebrity Charity Golf Outing, benefiting the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Hello everybody, welcome, I'm Ted Brunson, great to be back once again. This is one of my favorite events of the year. Go TV loves coming out here. Not only does the Clum family put on an outstanding outing, but look at the celebrities who come out to support all the kids in this foundation. I mean, Hall of Famers, legends, they're all out here for one cause. And with more on today's action, I'm gonna head it over to my partner today, Laura Smith. Laura? Thanks, Ted. Speaking of celebrities, I know you're catching up with the guest of honor, Dick Buckus, later. Can't wait to hear about that. This is my first time here, and I'm super pumped. The energy is amazing. I heard there's some awesome golfers here and some not-so-great golfers. Being a relatively new golfer myself, I hope to learn a few tips out on the course. And now we'll send it over to Harry Carey, and Harry's got some... some go are those marshmallows or golf balls? <laughs> Laura, those are marshmallows. Your eyes don't deceive you. I brought these tasty treats. Well, listen, this is serious. The marshmallows are for the marshmallow challenge. And you're going to see what it's all about, I predict. It's going to be in the Olympics in four years. Just Jordan Spieth. He did it, and GoTV was there. Jordan Spieth can do it. We'll see if any of you people can do it. Go TV was there. The Marshmallow Challenge. The great Jordan Spieth. He put a marshmallow on top of the golf ball. Pops it up. Running, diving. Holy cow. What a catch. With his mouth. This went viral. It was all over the internet. Whatever that is. Now it's your turn. Holy cow. Later in the show, Jim Lombardo and his buddies are going to take on the Marshmallow Challenge. Can they do it as good as the great Jordan Spieth? We'll find out. Okay, thanks, Harry, you little fluffer nutter. All right, now to the course, and let's start with the good and go from there. Emery Moorhead, when you were playing football, we never got to see this face, but we saw it on camera. The good news is you looked great with your swing. The other piece of good news is we didn't follow the ball. That's a good thing because uh, form is everything. Right. And, uh, you know, but the form out here today is having a good time. Russ Delaney from 150 yards out. Yeah. Not to be outdone, Storman Gorman Thomas steals the thunder. Get up there. Good. Get up there. Oh. And would it be an outing without the not so good? I wasn't going to leave it short with the good I say this with hes hesitation as I stutter because you're not a small man. Mm -hmm. Former All-American wrestling champion. Hands of stone on the green, yes. man. Yes, that's something I take pride in, actually. You made it. <laughs> well, you never thought you'd hear this from me, but Don Beebe with not enough speed. <laughs> but perhaps the best part of this day, or any outing, is the camaraderie. Well, sort of. 
Randy's not made a shot all day. Let's see how he does in the camera in the limelight. So I walk, I walk up. I've been here about 30 seconds. I asked these guys, how's it playing with Randy? Oh, he's great. Next thing I know, Randy, you, Randy hadn't hit a shot all day. And this blooming road apple over here is just really giving me, you know what a road apple is? Road apple, get this out of the hole when it goes in. <laughs> Whoa! We have Hall of Famer Dave Robinson just sitting in his cart. If you could just go to the left, there he is. Oh, no, 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 you were sitting, right. <laughs> Okay, now you have Bob over there who's just not wanting to hit. Now you have Jim, they're calling you the one-man scramble. So basically these guys are sitting in their cart or drinking and eating whatever they want. You're the one playing golf? Yes, that's true. Listen, um, I know you haven't been golfing all day. Yes, I have. Because let's take a look at the shirt. The mustard. No, no, no. Ketchup. No, no, no. That's chocolate. Oh, chocolate. 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 Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, okay. So that's ketchup. So this is, that's ketchup. <laughs> that's water. Okay. And this is bratwurst over here. Let's, yeah. where, let's go get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All I know is there's nothing says golf. Like two live crew in the background. Someone's phone ringing. A shot of Jaeger with Mac Buckus. That's it. Yes. Here's to make a wish. God, I'm making a wish right now. Man, they ain't never finish. Work. I'm wish. working. Make another wish. I'm working. And now it's time for what happens next. All right, let's play. Joe True on hole 17 hits it really close to the pin. An amazing shot. Partner Jim Mueller walks up with determination in his eye. And what happens next? Does he A, hit it two inches closer than Joe, B, banana slice it into a house breaking a window, C, duff it three feet to the left ending up directly behind him, or D, whiff, fall down, and flatulate? Come on, people, let me hear you now. What's it gonna be? A, B, C, or D? Well, we're waiting. That's right, C. He duffed it and the ball ends up directly behind him. Watch it again. One of my better shots of the day, yeah, I'm very proud of that. Please show that on the big screen later. That was amazing. Well, actually, the, uh, the camera was a little distracting today. Oh, blame the cameraman, uh-huh. Well, what brings you out today, of course, is the 21st Annual Clum Family Foundation. I know they love having you out here no matter what team you are. They love having a Hall of Famer, a legend like you. What a great cause, make a wish. What does it mean to you to be out here today? Well, it's just uh, I'm, I'm kind of humbled by it that they would invite me out here to, to uh, speak to the guys tonight and everything else. But... You know, there's there's a lot of different charities around there, so you, you try to help out where you can, and uh, this is a good one. It's got a good history going, and especially here with with this outing. Uh, they've done a good job with it. And Well, I know the kids appreciate it. The stories are amazing. The right. clone family, all the volunteers who appreciate it. So I have one question, though. Yeah. You and Dave Robinson going to go out later or no? Yeah, I, I saw Dave earlier. You guys going to get down in three-point stance and maybe show us one more time? I don't know if we can. <laughs> I'll fall you may not there. get back up. I know. <laughs> right. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. It's good. Right. Thank you. I talked earlier about how I'm new to the game, so I'm super excited to get out on the course and learn some tips from the good golfers, not the bad ones. So come on, let's go see what I can find. I caught up with the guys from Roland Machinery on Hole 18. Everyone missed their putt, so they decide to use their mulligan. Whatever that is. You were their last hope, and now, now you're using a mulligan? I don't like to think of myself as the last hope. <laughs> we missed the putt, we thought we made it, and we just made it there. Sweet! Good nice job! Nice job! We weren't even done with the interview, and the green was being pelted from the tee. I think these guys just drove the green. So, you hit the shot. I did. What? I mean... I just choked up on a three-wood. It was only like two, it was 280, so I couldn't hit a driver. Okay, I'm new to golf, so how, how do I do that? <laughs> I have no idea. Total luck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But all five of them couldn't get it in the hole. I mean, nobody's happy about that. No? No. You can't smile just a little bit? No. 
Maybe the next time. <laughs> Mike Trunelia with the UW Athletic Department admits golf is not his sport. But that's okay. He's got experience on his team. Check out Jack Gabriel's from 30 feet. I'm a first time golfer. I need a tip. Can you give me a tip? Because you're really good. Keep your head down. Everybody else will watch your ball go. He says he's the old guy, but he's a veteran. He's got the skills. He's been in this tournament, I think, for 15 years straight. What'd you learn from him today? I learned to keep your head down. Right? Everybody else will watch your ball. Being a woman, I can relate to women. Dawn Gruel gave me the lowdown on playing the game. What's your secret? Ladies gotta keep have a drinking. secret. Just keep drinking. Okay. <laughs> Dawn must be taking her own advice pretty seriously because check out this putt on 15. Amazing! On another note, here's something you don't see every day. Former Marquette basketball star Jim McElvain's wearing a sandal and a golf shoe. He must have a good golf tip. Who dressed you this morning? Um, my wife actually approved of this outfit without seeing the footwear before I left the house. Well, would it be reasonable to ask a Marquette University basketball player for advice on how to golf? Absolutely not. No, don't ask me. I didn't think so. No. You know what? I won't ask you for fashion advice either. Thank you. I got some great pointers out on the course today, but perhaps the best one didn't even involve golf. Check this out. Wait, you have a dance? Let's see your dance. No, come on, come on. Because you know I'm see all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm Can you show me how to do it? the moment you've all been waiting for the marshmallow challenge we got three contenders right here what's your name sir kevin brandt and you jim lombardo jay armbruster all right are you guys ready to do this can you do what jordan spieth did i am uh, i'm totally ready i took a look over there i know the craft jay puff uh jet puff marshmallow is going to be running really good today and uh, they taste good and they indeed they do and i know we got a cleveland classics wedge which i know is working real good the guys have been working on it so i'm looking forward to it Oh, yeah. All right, Lombardo, how about you? Not a chance. I was on my way to Seven Mile Fair to buy a rabbit, and I just stopped here. <laughs> and Jay Armbruster. sir. Just looking for good contact. All right. Okay, well, it's time. Who wants to go first? How about Kevin Brandt? All right, Kevin Brandt, any last-minute thoughts? As I, just you want, I just want to be able to make good contact. Living like a lover with a rock. Oh, 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 oh. Living like a trans, like a video man. Demolition woman. Kevin Brad, what in the world went wrong? You know, it was a little bit out of my reach. I don't, I don't have the, uh, I don't have that quick first step that I, I used to. And now, Jay Armbruster. Does it count? Does it count? It doesn't count. It hit my lip. It, you didn't hold it. You didn't swallow it. <laughs> Jim Lombardo, what are your last thoughts as you get ready to do the marshmallow challenge? I can't do better than that. I don't belong here. <laughs> You're an athlete. You're damn right I am, Harry. Can you believe it? I can't. I but can't Jim Lombardo has done what Jordan Spieth did. You could be in the Olympics. I'm out of wind right now, Harry. Just give me a chance. You're proud of yourself, aren't you? Damn right, Harry. You and know, it I'm... tasted good. Well, let's not go nuts. It was laying over there in the grass for a while. Yeah, <laughs> but it still tasted good. Well, I'll drink some ice cold Budweiser. Should we go get another one? Yes, we should. All right. I've been fortunate enough to come to many of these, about 10 or 12, and these functions just get better and better. I normally speak to Dennis or Gina at the end, but now they've passed it down to the next generation of the Clum Clan. Not too far of a, of a stretch, but you know, you're 30. Ashley, now you are representing this entire thing. Is it, is it tough on you? Um, it is, but not really, because it's for such a great cause that I love being part of it, and it means so much to my family and everyone that helps us out, and 
I couldn't ask for better support from all of our sponsors, our volunteers, and our close friends. So it really means a lot to all of us. More tears of joy than tears of sorrow, that's for sure, because the Clum Family Foundation brings the celebrities out, brings out all the good souls to make these wishes happen for the kid, and also have a lot of fun together. I was going to say, they also add a lot of booze to the day, which usually Are gets... Are serious? People drink here? Reading. Yeah. It's really, they open up their pocketbook a lot easier. The more you drink, the more you give. Don't forget that, people. Well, listen, I'm honored to be here again. On behalf of everybody here at Go TV. we want to say thank you to the Clum family, for all the volunteers, for everybody involved, for the celebrities who come out, and the non-celebrities alike. Thank you so much for another spectacular year right here in Lake Geneva, the Clum Family Foundation Celebrity Charity Classic. We don't golf that well, but we have a lot of fun doing it and a lot of good social time and a lot of laughter and a little ribbon for each other, everything good. If I can do whatever I can to support a cause like this, uh, that's an easy thing to do. Giving back to the kids and doing all the great things that he's doing uh, makes people want to come back and makes people excited and makes people smile. So pretty easy to get behind.